Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys have a blessed one. Because I know I'm going to be doing a video before then. But y'all know I work in the retail environment, man. Walgreens. And it seems like every year we've got to the point where we've stopped celebrating Thanksgiving. You know, we just go from Halloween right over to Christmas. There's no merch, no merchandise or anything for Thanksgiving at my location. And it just made me start thinking, like, how, that's kind of like what we do in our lives. You know what I'm saying? I work, in, I work for Walgreens. A lot of people that come into my store come in there because they need medication, because they're sick. If it wasn't for that, I really don't think the doors would be open. Whenever people are not feeling well, allergies are acting up, they got a little cough or something like that, they come to Walgreens. Whenever they go to the doctor and they're sick, they need medication. They, if I, if the insurance cover at Walgreens, they come to Walgreens. There's a need there on both sides. The need is very high whenever the sicker that the person may be. So the want and demand for that medication is bigger. And it made me start thinking. A lot of times in my spiritual walk, I don't know about you guys, but for me, the want and the need for God in my life and him to answer prayers is bigger whenever I'm sick. Whenever things are not going my way, whenever life has threw, threw me a curveball, things are not going as planned, finances are crazy, um, and just I'm just having a bad day, man. I need that medication. I need that healing from Jesus. I need Jesus to get me through it. But on every day that we should be thankful, I tend to not pray as hard. I don't rely on God as much. He woke me up this morning. I actually turned over to an alarm on a cell phone, which means I have a cell phone. Thank you, God. I was able to get out of bed, turn on the faucet to run in water. Thank you, God. I was able to turn on a light switch and wow, lights came on. Thank you, God. I was able to get work ready and get into a car and push the button or turn the switch and the car started. I got to work. Thank you. Thank you, God. I have a job. Thank you, God. So many times we complain, we complain, we complain. But we don't take the time to thank God and be appreciative and thank people around us until it's time for Thanksgiving to come along and we say, oh, thank you. So many times we have bad things that happen in our lives and, and we forget that those bad things that happen to, happen to us are building character. It's building our faith up. How many times have we had something happen and we had no choice but to, but to rely on Christ? Thank you for that trial, that tribulation. Whatever it was that you went through, thank you. Thank God for that because that, that turns you into the person that you are. That molds your faith. It molds who you are, and it's going to determine how you're going to look at things and the advice and your testimony that you're going to have to give to other people. So as you guys go out this Thanksgiving, a message to you guys is, is to be thankful every day. Don't let it just be about Thanksgiving. Be thankful for the small things. You know, my son has autism and he's nonverbal. And I'm I'm thankful. It made me has I have a different outlook than you may may have on the words that you use. It, I'm thankful that I'm able to speak. My son cannot. Everybody's story is different. Everybody's testimony is different. Be thankful for the life that you have. Be thankful that you're here another day to make things better and get things right. Be thankful for Christ down on the cross for you. It's your boy Truth. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm out.